Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Cameron and I am an artist and a YouTuber. So today I'm going to show you how to use watercolor paint water lily. Let's do this. I love using watercolor every time because I've, the watercolor is very easy to dry and I love playing with watercolor color especially you know I love painting um, with the flowers so I used to I, I like to first to to find um, all the darker parts of one petal like you as you can see I already finished one petal of this water lily so next I'm going to find the darkest part which will be um, the, there, uh, the, the, the darkest part will be on the edge and uh, after just uh, the, the part next to this petal so then I will fill the color with, uh, with all those um, red and pink fill the, I will fill the color I know everybody has different techniques um, I, I'm not sure, seriously not sure what I which technique I am using but I like to blend uh, the color from the darkest part to 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 the lighter uh, lighter section I think more often when we use watercolor it's just sometimes it's, it's kind of harder to to control the, the percentage of water but don't worry you know that happens a lot. I think it's totally normal. You just need to wait for like a minute and then the color will just dry out. Then you can fill, fill with more color. You know, I think everybody, so when we talk about the, when we do something, it's hard to do, to do something right uh, one time. You have to keep trying. Um, Especially when we work for an art, especially when we work on an art pro project, uh, it's easy. It's okay to mess, you know, mess up or you know, play with the with the color. Just take your time. See, I am waiting for this petal to dry. Um, yeah, it didn't look good very, uh, it's, it does not look very good right now, but I have this confidence, you know, I'm, I'm going to make it look better later. So then I have enough time to fix other petals. Uh, this petal, I think I need more shadow, yes. Uh, then I just feel with more red color. Um, because you have to have this contract contrast contrast yeah then the, the lighter color and the darker color uh, then this object can s s uh, stand out I'm trying to make it dry faster <laughs> I need a fan okay working on my next petal Same thing, f looking for you know uh, the the darkest part of that petal, just kind of mark it, you know. Uh, then feel the color, blend, blend the color, and then feel with more color, feel more color in that shadow. Now my second, hold on, <laughs> fix here a little bit try to make it looks try to make it look softer and my second petal is pretty much dried and okay let's work on it the edge is the darkest one because it has the shadow of the first petal and you need to put more color 
on it. Yeah, Mark Marcus told me American student like started to use watercolor when you guys were at elementary school or for little kids. Uh, same thing when we were you know um, I was born in China. Well, when I was little at school, um, yeah, we use watercolor too. Sometimes if I put in too much water, I try to use some dry paper and just dab out to the, dab it out. Wipe it out. Okay. Yeah. Or I can use my finger, but you know, you can fold, you know, your tissue or toilet paper. I got it toilet, so. The matter, and uh, just any sort of papers, some soft, little bit soft, you know, you fold and uh, with a corner and just kind of wipe the water or let the, the paper absorb the extra water, and then it will have a uh, pretty dry and a white area because um, that is uh, the, the, the one you, you want. A little bit of background about me. Um, I I love painting. I'm not sure if I am a, an artist or not, but I always enjoy painting, and I love doing sketches. Uh, when I was little, oh okay, oh I have I have over eight years. I had oh, about eighty years professional training. Uh, when I was little, my parents sent me to an art school because they just want to get rid of me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, so that, that was a joke. So my parents were busy, so they sent me to an art school. Uh, then, you know, I started to, to, uh, to paint. And uh, when I was at middle school, uh, I can, because I did not pay so much attention. First, I was at uh, a that private art school, um, but on my art class at middle school, and uh, my art teacher said, "Oh, you know, you can, you can, you do so much better than others. You know, come to, uh, come, you know, and teach other people how to how to paint, you know, that animal." So and then I was very I'm very pr proud of that, and um, then after that I just feel I, ha I have this special connection with the uh, you know painting and all those stuff. Uh, it's pretty amazing, and I love going to different galleries, just stare at different paintings. It's so amazing. It's like you are walking to a different world. Uh, nobody even bothers you. That's just so awesome. And uh, when I when I was at high school, um, because uh, in China it's it's totally different. Uh, you know, you have to if you want to go to a good college, you have to be so super smart and be a good student. I'm pretty good, but my math was so bad. Basically, I can get an F at math, just not that bad. But luckily for me, I have something special. You know, I can, I have a specialty. I can paint, and then because I because my painting skills that sent me to a good university in Beijing. So um, that's pretty cool. I'm proud of that too. And I I do paint, you know. I love I, I enjoy painting. Sometimes when I have time, um, I try to paint as much I, as much I as I can. Ta-da! Finally, I finished this piece. Um, it took me some time. Because I have to, I have to figure out, you know, like 
every petal I paint, I have to pay attention, you know, how much water should I mix with the, my brush. And uh, that, that's the, the, the thing about watercolor, you have to control the, the, in the percentage of, of water uh, with your color. Um, I liked my painting. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, I used green and blue, those two colors as uh, the background because I think they're just like um, watercolor is pink and uh, sort of red and I add a green and a blue color as background uh, it's more like a contrast you know warm and a cold color um, they just look better right and then at the end I decided to add some outline just make a little shadow uh, for my water water lily um, because it can make my water lily pump out. Did I just say water lily to watercolor? Forgive me. Yeah, I'm drunk. I'm not. <laughs> so that's just the way I handle. Uh, I, I I deal with uh, uh, this this painting. Um, I really like it. Um, the tips of uh, using watercolor, like I said before you know when I started you have to um, of course you know you you need to made a uh, you need to choose what you you're going to to paint right and then try to um, figure out or try to use the your watercolor brush um, to draw or to uh, to analyze uh, the the shadow or the, the the bright part, and in the middle it's the the gray section, you know the gray section, uh, and then sort of uh, between the, the 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 shadow and the, the the highlight or whatever you call, and then you just blend, blend between those two, uh, then the result will be will be good. Um, Yes, I encourage you to try that next time. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, you guys are welcome to check out my YouTube channel as well. It's Shannon Cameron. Thank you. <laughs>